What did you want it for? The key. To see if I could open the other door. What door? The one under the ivy. Go on. This wasn't the first time I snuck into the garden at night. I snuck in another night, too. Over your... over the new door. I heard a robin sing from my window. I thought it wanted me to go to the garden. The wind sounded like music, like a flute or something. Like a panpipe. You've heard it? A long time ago, when my brother Dickon was alive. And when you went back with the key tonight, what happened? The fox was outside the garden. It led me to the door. When I went through it, all the animals and the birds came to me and sat with me by the fountain. And it was like they wanted me to do something. Only I didn't know what. The animals came to you? Yes. The birds and the rabbits and the deer and the fox. And two little furry round things I've never seen before. Hedgehogs exactly the right name for them. Dickon was especially fond of the hedgehogs in the garden. Look. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Miss Arby. I really, really am. I think you should send me back to America. I don't deserve to be here anymore. Stand up, Lizzie. I believe this belongs to you. No, it doesn't. You're in charge of it. I was left in charge of it. But it seems that was a mistake. It seems it was meant to belong to an orphan girl from across the ocean. Just as it belonged to another orphan girl from across another ocean. If I weren't so thick, I suppose I should have guessed. I'm not anything like Lady Mary. You're more like her than you know, child. 